Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Today we are going to be doing a full face of Say Beauty. I know, I have never really used their products. The only thing I use from them is blush, but I was able to achieve this really, really pretty look with using all of their products. It's kind of crazy, I've never done any videos like this on my channel, full face of Say, full face of Fenty, full face of whatever, I've never done that. So I've always wanted to, and now we are doing that with a full face of Say. And this is also going to be a first impression since I haven't really used much of their products but you'll have to stay tuned to see what I like the most and what I don't and as always make sure you like and subscribe to this video I am trying okay y'all we are putting out videos we are here we're doing it <laughs> so without any further ado let's get into the video so I've already prepped my skin and I think I'm gonna go in with some foundation I'm not sure I have two different foundations here I have the one that is glowy super skin foundation and then I have this skin tint I'm not not sure which one I want to use. Hmm. 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 I think I want to try this one. It says to shake well. I am so new to this brand. Like I've only ever tried blushes from them. So I'm excited to try and attempt a full face. So right away, this foundation is super liquidy. Like it is moving around like crazy on the back of my hand, but it's definitely giving me a really nice luminous glow. Oh my God. I forgot to do my eyebrows first. Who am I? I was like, something's weird about my face. It's my damn eyebrows. Okay, this looks really, really nice. I have dry skin, so you guys know I love anything that's dewy, but first impressions, this looks very, very nice and natural. Okay, we're back and our brows are filled in and everything is right in the world again. I have this concealer from them. It looks like it might be a little bit too dark. We'll have to play around and see. Ooh, I can't even read this on the back. I don't know what shade this is. I can't read it, but this is their hydro cream. Let's apply and see. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit yellow. But we'll play around with it. We'll play around with it. So when I blend it out, it's actually not as dark as it looks. So it's actually not too, too bad. I do wish I had a little bit of a lighter shade, but this is definitely doable. I'm gonna add a little bit more right here. I actually really like the tip of this concealer. It's very precise, which makes me feel like you can really get into the more difficult areas, like around here if you wanted to, pretty easily. I'm actually really excited to try this cream bronzer. Look at this. This looks like the one from Chanel. If you know, you know. This is called Sun Melt Tan Bronze. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna just pick up a little bit on this brush and oh, it is pigmented. Wow. Okay, that is beautiful. Where has this product been my whole life? I cannot believe that this is like my first time trying everything. Wow. Okay, I think this might be my favorite product I've tried so far. This is stunning. And not to mention, it is so airbrushed and easy to to apply. Let's continue on the rest of the face. I'm like mad at myself for not trying any of these products sooner. <laughs> this is so nice. Wow. And even just looking at that difference comparing this side to this side where there's nothing like it's just it is so nice and natural looking like you definitely can build this up. I don't want to though like I actually just really enjoy the way that it looks right now. I think it's really really nice. Take a little bit into the brow bone. Ooh. I want to try and do a little bit of nose contour. It's been a minute since your girl has nose contoured. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I kind of just stopped doing it. There wasn't really any reason for it. Just was kind of like, I'm just gonna run blush over it. That was kind of the vibe. But this is really all I do for my nose contour. I don't really go too, too crazy or anything. Kind of just do this and then we'll blend it with my sponge. This bronzer is the most blendable bronzer bronzer I have ever used in my life. Like I am so, so sad that I missed out on so many years of using this product, but hey, at least I have it now, right? It is so creamy. It almost blends out into nothing. Wow. I am going to play around with this blush. I love this color. It's like a Barbie pink. It's in the shade baby and let's blend it out with my sponge. Oh yeah. That is like a light pink dream. Okay. I am so sad. I know I keep saying this, but I cannot believe I haven't played around with more say products like this is seriously so pretty and all of the makeup so far has really been geared towards dry skin which 
It's finally our time, gals, okay? It's been matte foundations for years, matte looks for years. It's finally time for the dry skin gals to shine, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit more to just layer it on because I can never have enough blush. Some of you guys might think I'm crazy, but I really love this. There's no such thing as too much blush and it actually has become my personality now, so. <laughs> okay, I love the way that looks. I'm trying to decide if I wanna layer another blush on top to just make it stand out a little bit more. Let me see what other colors I have. I have this one called Sweetie. I think I want to just see what it would look like. Maybe just a little bit lower on the cheek. See, like maybe a little bit of a contour-y vibe. Oh, yes. That is exactly what I was missing. I love blending two different blushes. One dark, one light. Darker one by the contour line and lighter one higher up by the highlighter. That gives you that like effortless kind of blend of the two. This also, I realize, might be a decent amount of blush for a lot of you but for me this is not because blush is my personality if you guys haven't tried these blushes the blushes are really the only thing I've ever tried from this brand and they're phenomenal they really are Ooh, she's looking cute and then I'm just taking whatever product is left on my sponge and carving out the contour line you guys saw this in my last video if you haven't checked it out I uploaded a really in-depth tips and tricks on how to get a flawless base foundation I am going to be filming an eye shadow flawless routine soon so stay on the lookout for that but if you want to know some of my favorite tips and tricks for your base and your foundation check out that video so since say doesn't have any eyeshadows or anything along those lines I'm actually gonna take the pink and just put it in the outer corner right here of the eye and just blend it out with my sponge with the corner of my sponge just to like give a little bit of color I also can do this with the bronzer as well yeah actually Actually, we can totally do that with the bronzer. I'm gonna just take a little bit on this Morphe brush and just, just a little bit, just start to go into the crease a little bit. That just kind of gives you a little bit more of that dimension and kind of makes it look like you're wearing shadow without having to wear shadow. Gives a nice sculpted look. Let's add a little bit more pink in that outer corner since the bronzer kind of got rid of it. Let's do with this. And we can blend it down into the high points of the cheeks to just kind of make everything blend and look cohesive. This is a super, super easy trick. You could do this with any blush, any bronzer, anything that you really want. We got some translucent powder here. I always get a little bit wary of trying out another brand's translucent powder just because the Laura Mercier is my tried and true. But we will try and see what happens, right? So I'm using my Huda Beauty sponge, my puff. I ta always tap off the excess because I I don't want to have too much powder going on and I'm just gonna go underneath the eyes and set everything set the sides of my nose I'm also gonna use this to set our eyes and basically our bronzer and blush that we put up in there and it also kind of tones it down a bit which is nice okay this powder is actually really nice it doesn't feel like cakey or heavy like sometimes some powders can feel it actually feels pretty natural it doesn't feel too weird or anything since we have a very, very, very liquidy and dewy foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and set my smile lines because your girl is very animated when she talks, so we also need to set this side. I also will just say the concealer in general, I definitely wanna try again with my right shade with a lighter shade because I just feel like this, I'm so used to a bright under eye, I almost feel like I look a little bit tired. That's just my personal preference, not everybody likes a bright under eye so I'm gonna go ahead and just set the rest of my face I'm gonna take a minute and just plop on some lashes off camera to save a little bit of time for you guys these are the new eyelore under lashes they're similar to the kiss ones however these have a different sort of glue the glue is kind of like activated once it's on your lash so I definitely can give you guys a review and tutorial on how to do under lashes but for the sake of this video and keeping this not too too long for you guys I'll be right back with my lashes the last Lashes are on. I'm gonna take this mascara and just start to put a little bit on the lashes, like towards the inner part. I kind of leave the outer part alone because I don't really wanna mess around with the flare and floof that's going on. And then I'm gonna take this and work on my lower lashes. Ooh, I actually really like this spike. It is so easy to use for the lower lashes. Oh wow, I like that. This spike is like super bendable too. Like it's very flimsy, like 
easy to bend. I'm gonna just take off some of the excess. Yeah, I like this mascara wand. Okay, I have this lipstick from Say. It's in the color Modern, and this is their lip blur, so let's apply it. Ooh, it matches like perfectly with my lip liner. That's crazy. Okay, I love that. And then I have a gloss, so we'll top it off with a gloss. And there we have it. I feel like we created such a pretty look with this full face of Say. I really love the way that it came out, especially the complexion products. I don't know that they have eyeshadows. I'm gonna have to definitely do my research on that, but all of the complexion products I really, really liked. The only thing I felt like I probably wouldn't use again is their concealers. I do tend to want a little bit more coverage when it comes to concealers in general, but everything else like I feel like my complexion looks so good so I'm I'm impressed okay I'm especially impressed with this foundation I think I'll definitely be continuing to use this and their blushes are just mwah, chef's kiss to me so leave a comment down below if there's anything else you guys want me to do a full face of full face of Fenty full face of Huda whatever you think full face of indie brands whatever you think let me know down below and if you guys like what you see please consider subscribing and I will see y'all next time Bye.